Video aus, egal. Uh, okay, doesn't matter. That's the perfect start of the show. Welcome to this final event of the Chaos Communication Camp 2015. So glad to see you all here in this final event. Uh, so glad to be standing in front of you one more time to go through this, uh, you know, through the memories of this past five days that felt like eternity and not. <laughs> <laughs> It was an excellent adventure. Excellent work had been done. Excellent parties have been partied. Excellent hacks have been hacked. But above all, I feel like an excellent conduct was displayed. I cannot put in words how incredibly I appreciate the way that people have been treating each other. So many people approached me and told me that they've been having an incredible time also because of their feeling so respected and everybody was so supportive and helpful. Some people even said they've never felt so safe and secure ever before. A feeling that I can confirm and I think something that we as a community can be incredibly proud of. So thank you for being so excellent. It's so nice to see these smiling faces, tired smiling faces, but still smiling. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, these kind of stories, uh, I had brought a bunch of colleagues here, for example, they were here for the first time, and they said just exactly the same things, that they were so amazed how friendly and helpful everybody is. And one of our friends from the Chaos Computer Club Berlin, while doing a podcast, summarized this whole feeling, like with this quote that I translated to uh, English for you, you know, If you forget your notebook outside of your tent, it won't be gone the next morning, but instead somebody puts a power supply on it so it wouldn't turn off. And, you know... <laughs> and that... And that really applies to a lot of uh, aspects of this camp. There was even another fun little story where apparently somebody found a white box without a label, just a cable sticking out, and he didn't know what it was, so he took it, he took it apart, he downloaded the firmware from the device and figured out by reading the firmware code that it's from the CCC Berlin and returned it. You know, <laughs> this is just... Yeah, speaking of lost and found, um, don't forget that there is a lost and found. Check out the wiki. I went through the list today and it's pretty huge already. A lot of people lost things. A lot of people have found things. Among those, an egg boiler. So check your egg boiler boxes. Maybe you've forgotten your... Like, who brings an egg boiler to a camp? <laughs> However, if you're missing it, um, somebody found it. And if you find another egg boiler uh, that is abandoned, bring it to the info desk. People put it, so people can put it in the wiki. And also check, there were a lot of wallets, sunglasses, and um, also smartphones. Yes, check that out. Of course, uh, we have to talk about the event from the camp that got us all shaking in our boots. We got frightened, we got scared, we ran through the rain, you know, thunderbolt and lightning. lightning. Very, very... Well... <laughs> well... <laughs> well, you know... To be fair, I was standing under one of those bar tents and it was raining and it was, uh, was kind of scary a little bit, especially when this one lightning struck close by. And then the angels came and wanted to evacuate us and everybody was like, but I'm holding my beer and it's wet outside and I'm really sorry to all the angels that had to fight these kind of people, including me. In the end, five minutes before the rain stopped, we finally decided, okay, don't make this person's life a hell. We run, we got super wet and then the rain stopped. It was great. But, of course, one person, you've seen the picture all, one person didn't really follow maybe evacuation procedures. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so the entire thunder strike had something good about it. It also had something good because I was hiding under a tent with several other people, and then we were, then I was trapped with six nerds and a physicist in a T4 W uh, VW, and I feel like this entire thunder strike was a big hour of all the physicists on this campsite, because so many people told me that the same thing happened to them. They were trapped with the physicist, <laughs> and for one hour they got a lightning, lightning, lightning talk about how to avoid lightning, lightning, being struck by lightning. <laughs> Steps. Yeah, I mean, that was definitely one of the highlights, but there were many, many other highlights in this whole uh, festival, I would even call it. Um, and we call that like our little personal collection, right? Little what the heck moments, memory. Uh, I mean, there have been many, many more, and sorry for those we can't feature, but this is, just a, this is just a small selection. One of my personal highlights was when I was standing in this little birch forest with a disco ball, and then we admired the lights and everything, and then suddenly we heard this really, really, really weird uh, sound coming, and we explored and tried to figure out what it was. If you haven't seen it, I hope you can see it now. Whoa. The Tesla coil making Super Mario. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that was just really, really, really brilliant. I've, I've seen the slides for the talk and I thought like, and I checked actually the slides because I couldn't go to the talk and there was only YouTube videos, so I was already kind of disappointed. Okay, he doesn't bring his Tesla car or she or whoever, but yeah, that was really amazing. So this is my favorite what the heck moment. Who has seen this little tragedy? <laughs> After the thunderstorm. <laughs> so I passed this pathway and I saw 30 nerds standing there like <laughs> giggling. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw the power cords and it actually was a floodlight. I, I tried to explain it, a floodlight. And uh, the power cord was in a little puddle that, and there was smoke or steam coming up. And they told everybody who was going next to it barefoot like, oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Uh, we don't know what happened. Later I found out that the floodlight was uh, powered by a battery. And uh, after five minutes, some guy came and uh, refilled the dry ice in the puddle. <laughs> <laughs> so that was awesome. That was really... <laughs> There's, there are a few installations, I mean, there are many installations that represent the word FNORD, but this was really one of my favorites <laughs> in this regard. Really nice. Another highlight, I mentioned it in the, in the opening section, just by browsing through the self-organized sessions, right? I mentioned these uh, building model rockets for kids. And I'm really sorry to the people if they're in the audience now because I read a tweet that like a bunch of like 100 kids or something showed up and wanted to build these rockets and they didn't have enough supplies. But in the end, they made it. And I went actually at 11 and, uh, in the morning, I went to a field outside of the camp to watch like the families with their kids, like whole families going there, the kids super excited, bu building these uh, rockets, right? And then if you, if you haven't seen it, here's one rocket launch for you. <laughs> and that was just, you know, all these kids smiling. That was also really cool. <laughs> yeah, the liquid this, quick dream of every martyr addict. I, there's nothing really left to say, right? Yeah, really. It's and very safe. Apart from, <laughs> I would rather see this than all these electric bikes now in the city. Like, I would, oh, that would be terrific. Oh, and hey, camp is not only about automotorsport, it's also about love. There was a total of one marriage proposal that was also successful. So congratulations. <laughs> Next up, 
we want to just go there through it a little short, right? But this was also just so great. I was sitting on the beach one day, then suddenly somebody on a little boat uh, shouted towards the beach, hey, everybody, silent, we're doing lightning talks here. And if you can't, <laughs> if you can't read German, the sign basically says you have five minutes. Uh, if you not, uh, do overtime, all your subjects thinks the audience that was floating around the boat in the water can flip you over. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't win it, witness anybody being flipped, so they must have been good, but I thought like this is exactly the mindset that I was talking about in the opening. Like, tense too warm, we want to do lightning talks, why not go to the lake? Very nice. And then um, we have one more <laughs> highlight. Uh, from the third, uh, basically this gentleman with the blurred face uh, holding the wine bottle, he lost his iPhone in the marina. And our third team is not only you know, helping people that injured their feet or their head or whatever they heard, they heard a lot of stuff. Um, they also have a well-equipped scuba diving team that went <laughs> one meter 80 down, they got the iPhone, and according to Fiona... Yeah, it was disassembled, dried, reassembled, and it works. <laughs> so, you know. so I have the honor to go back to the entire organizational stuff. So you've probably noticed we started dismantling the campsite and um, we need every single helping hand. So if you're planning to stay longer, uh, please help us out, go to the heaven, especially right now, the most urgent thing to do is uh, taking out the chairs and table in case you're a village that borrowed some. Uh, please clean them a little bit and um, put them back to the nearest workshop tent. If you didn't buy, uh, borrow any t uh, tables or chairs, please um, help out at the workshop tents. Tomorrow, it will be best if you move your tent towards the crew and angel area because all the volunteers that brought us uh, internet, power and water are taking this back again. So uh, <laughs> taking this away, except in the crew and angel area. So please move, move there and help us out. And the uh, easiest way to start getting help, uh, getting, getting start, started helping out is basically when we are all done with this, uh, you take the chair that you're sitting on and take it outside. There will be angels, I hope, uh, like getting, uh, helping you putting the chairs on pallets because this tent has to be cleaned out pretty quickly. So that would be your first kind of, you know, task that everybody can contribute and we will, will, we will be very thankful for that. Oh, no? Oh, correction, uh, correction. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the other people didn't know about the Verbinders. <laughs> oh, the Verbinders. Oh, the Verbinders. So, okay, we'll figure this out. Wait until maybe a few minutes. Apparently, these chairs are connected, so if you take one out, you take them all out. So, <laughs> might, not, might not be good. Might not be good. So, let's focus on more important things for... The after party. The Verbinders go off easy. I we'll heard. figure this out afterwards, all right, all right? No. <laughs> no, let's... <laughs> they really have to stay here. Okay, they okay. have to stay. <laughs> Maybe. Um, is that the after party? There will be a huge after party tonight at the Market Square. We are very much looking forward to see every one of you there. Yes. Uh, right. <laughs> and... If you have been here for a long time, maybe even came before the camp started, I mean, this is the optimal chance to really celebrate this whole festival. And I am sure the after party will, you know, fulfill the expectations of tearing down this beautiful festival. And now you're already trained a little bit, you know, and it's part of every one of those closing events, of course. You know what's coming and you exercise pretty well already. But we decided, you know, this time we do it a little bit differently because all these past years when we were about to thank everybody that contributed to this great event, we almost in all cases forgot somebody and they were really sad sitting in the corner. Also, there are so many people and groups contributing to this campsite that maybe even we haven't actually ever seen or didn't even know they existed, but still they did an incredibly um, important task. 
Exactly. And that's why we thought it would be a lovely idea that we just do one epic applause, like earth shattering, standing <laughs> up, dancing, shouting. And every single clap will be for something that you experienced, something that you did, something that you see, something that you're grateful for. So, are you ready? Uh, say yes. yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Are, we, are we doing the countdown? Put the next slide on, the next slide on. Go. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Go! Oh. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Go, go, go! We have to clap. It's not over yet. All right. Yes. Woo! Second wave. Let it out. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, I couldn't have asked for anything better, seriously. <laughs> This is going to go hurts. forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. We Thank couldn't. You. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We, we have, we have. There's one. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this fine gentleman? Sorry? Who are you? Uh. And how can we help you? I think that I'm the guy who was hacked by people. You were the guy who was hacked by people? Yes. In which way? In a positive way? Just like uh, many, many very smart people coming together and just creating the atmosphere. Just... Yo. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's on, I think. All right. So just imagine like very, very many people coming together and creating the atmosphere that is just awesome. Leute, die hier vorbeikommen, eine Atmosphäre schaffen, die unglaublich ist. Uh, Leute, die hier vorbeikommen, und alles ist so gut. Es gibt Leute hier, die die Welt verändern. Und du weißt das, und du weißt das, weil du das machst. Und wie jeder von euch das macht. Ihr alle macht das, ihr alle, macht das, ihr alle verändert die Welt und ihr habt mich verändert. Wir, wir zmieniliście, ihr zmieniliście, schließlich mówiąc, ihr seid niesamowici. Ihr seid so ein... Ich weiß nicht, like... Ich habe keine Worte. Ich habe keine Worte für das, either. <laughs> So, okay. <laughs> Surprise guest. Anything else you want to share with us or? Well, if you like to marry me, then I'm yours. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. That's I'm kidding, no. Uh, anything else? <laughs> It's a surprise guess that we have no idea. <laughs> if you do have her here, it would be incredible. Say what? Do you have the girl here by the first name of Kata? Kata? No? No, she isn't. All right. <laughs> well, Come on. All right, all right, <laughs> all, right, all, right all right. So Kata, if you see this and you're listening to me right now, <laughs> Then give me a call or let me know however you want to know. All right. Kata. Thank you. Well, so thanks for that contribution. <laughs> and we got some apples. Oh, yeah, apples. All right. Uh, so what? No. Any other marriage proposals? You can, you, you you can all join in a big thank you. The, uh, because. We are really, you know, this applause was more than we ever imagined it to be, and it's really amazing. And I'm sure we'll. There's we just a little, little zugabe coming really, yeah. really soon. 
We are so much looking forward to see every single one of you at Congress. Thank you so much for being part of this wonderful event and yeah. this little miracle that we experience here together. Thank and, you so much. And keep remembering. Yeah. And there's, there's one last sl slide. I hope this time the video doesn't uh, stutter. Uh, somebody like that was actually really amazing that during the Congress we already uh, camp oh, damn it <laughs> uh, during the camp uh, we already had amazing pictures amazing videos and one of the videos I found today and it's just the really the, the perfect closing for this event so after that safe trip home safe you know disassembly of the camp uh, and yeah enjoy your memories <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.